Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna see if we can do some welding with this Jackery Explorer 1000. And full disclosure guys, uh, Jackery did send me this uh, to test out and I've been testing it out on my other channel, but I thought it'd be interesting to see if we can weld. And this is my welder, it's an Eastwood MIG-90. That's just a 120 volt, um, so it'll plug into here. This has a 1000 watt uh, constant pure sine wave inverter, but it can do up to 2000 watts peak. So it'll be interesting to see if it'll be up to the task for a little bit of welding. And as you can see, we're at 92%. All I'm gonna do is just uh, weld from here to here. And I'm actually probably gonna do a stitch weld. So like a spot weld, spot weld, spot weld all the way across and we're gonna see if it can handle it. One thing I will say is it's not a good idea to do a lot of like grinding and stuff around this thing um, cause it's got, you know, cooling vents and if like metal dust get in there, it could like short stuff out. Um, so I would watch out for that. This is just more of an interesting little test. But I'll turn that on, turn on AC, plug it in. Oh, and it was already on. But just on standby, we're pulling about only like 14, 17 watts. Not too bad. Go ahead and turn our gas on. I'm actually almost out of gas. Um, still got a little bit left, but it's at the minimum for the tank pressure. But let's go ahead and see if we can weld. All right, got the ground clamp on. Oh, nope. I was not happy about that. So yeah, unfortunately, can't weld with a Jackery E1000. You know what, let's just try it one more time. I don't think it'll work, but you never know. Nope. <laughs> it almost does, but probably gonna need a bigger power station if you wanna weld. Uh, the Jackery E1000, you can't weld with. However, I do like this power station. Um, I was able to run a thousand watt microwave off of it, no problem. Just not enough power to be able to weld. We're gonna need a bigger power station for that. 